A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Let the idea sink in. You'll get used to it. What the oh. hell? Huh? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial the district. The company on the west side is under siege. what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. Whoa. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. The Batman! Fox! We got company! 
company! yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die. Alone. <laughs> I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. <laughs> This one is mine. Batman! 
Batman! And say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ! Come on! The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. But who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. But you better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Bane sent his men to hide the weapons. Leave Bane to me. Uh, give us a second, will you? Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler. Not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. You are not fine, Bruce. 
None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I thought you'd be used to seeing me fly through walls by now. No one gets used to that. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Bane is running free out there. He's just getting started. That's what frightens me, Bruce. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that... melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. Others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage, all by herself. Guns, money, biotech, what are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster, or take on his friends if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own, taking on all of them. That would be suicide in your current condition. Alfred, you should know better than to... Uh, underestimate me. Maybe you have a point. Even so, we can't just wait for them to strike again. The death toll is already too high. Waller might have been right. Some problems might be better solved by Bruce Wayne. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then... 
John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. I'll have to repay John's trust with betrayal. You wouldn't have to betray him if he didn't associate with criminals. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm not planning to stick around for long. Just enough for me to figure out their plan. Yes. And then what? I'll improvise. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Lily, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh... Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. And besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. Wasn't sure I could trust you, John. You were more than a little erratic at the funeral, and, and it was important to me that I find the Riddler. And, you know, you were my only lead. Okay, I, I guess that makes sense. It's rude, duplicitous, and invasion of my privacy-like, but it makes sense. So... really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but geez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. 
Wouldn't that be a gas? <laughs> anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd. Doesn't seem like you. The timing wasn't right, but I reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> and Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think... You're bothering my friend, John! I don't remember asking for you to join us, Billy. Go sit down. Sit down? You better stand up! Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Easy, Willie. I can give you money if you just leave John alone. The bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. You really don't want to do this. Think about your future. I don't have a future. Perfect! What a lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Lily had a problem. We took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the on. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic! <laughs> oh, cool! They're expecting you. Bruce, um, wow, <laughs> one, one more thing, you can't tell anyone this, this is big, it's huge, <laughs> I think I'm in love, it, it's, it's an odd feeling, I am so happy, John, you deserve the best, yeah, I, I, blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Oh, damn it. 
thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, this works, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. <laughs> That's a pretty good reason. I like a guy who's good with his hands. I'm just joshing your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. On. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. A brood in silent type, huh? John, you didn't say he was a first class bore. Wooden said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. Really got the heart racing. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. You can't make friends with the silent treatment. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? You shouldn't. You can't trust anyone. Not in our line of work. Ain't that the truth? You're not what I expected. Still, you gotta show me you got what it takes to be part of our... pact. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Stop! What were you guys talking about? Here, you Your friend was saying he had the hots for me. Lover boy said I was just his type. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? I never said that. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. Oh my god! 
That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's in. okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that failing ski. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Sir, ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. <laughs> this ain't your stuff. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. You ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And 
These are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> your friends don't suit you, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? Bruce is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moments. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? I don't know this. This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. 
L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. All right, that's a start. Getting there. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. There we go. Okay, this will work. to help me stay there don't touch anything I touch what I want when I want Brucey boy you knew what's best for you you'd quit giving orders and find me that key looking for this Tiffany I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This... this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman... I knew it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce... These people you're with... I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. You need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's going to want to know about your uh, friend here. You don't have to say anything to her, John. Okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough? I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. You boys did good, you know? 
made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was... a masterstroke, Bruce. Still... That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. I yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your business client's cover story is going to cause problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You need to take it easy, Al. Get some rest. It's uh, only a momentary bit of exhaustion. I I'm sure it will pass. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. Waller told me. Everything's got to go through her office now. Uh, her demotion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right.
Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Jim, listen to me. I need you to let me handle this. I've still got your back, no matter what. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. I suppose not. You've committed your life to cleaning up these streets. That job will never be done. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Her enthusiasm almost got her killed. It didn't, though. Because of you. That's the part you need to focus on. So... Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Did you really think I'd let you tackle this group by yourself? Remember what kind of hand I'm holding, Bruce. Listen, Bruce. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe.
Here we go. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> well, it seems like the Prince of Gotham is more like an empty suit. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the phalanx game. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! Well, at least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce, I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. And, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees, I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, but don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. A job? Sounds intriguing. What's the target? 
I like you, Brucie, but I never give up all my secrets on a first date. It's need to know, and you don't need to know. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucie? Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. It don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah, still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just don't bring it up again. Buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before and your office and uh, making me look good. Hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Did it ever? Handing that key over to Harley, giving her what she wanted. Pure ecstasy. It, yeah, it was a big moment for me. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> when it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Look, I had it handled, John. That was nice of you, but I didn't need the help. Uh-huh. Sure. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. <laughs> Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. You like Batman. What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. I just thought you looked thirsty. <clears throat> Please, come. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. 
I did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. Yes. Men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Fate! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it. Take him somewhere. The package is moving. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out. The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. Bruce is strong and smart. Handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, I vote for Brucey, so we got a tie here. However, without Bruce, we can't use the EMP. True. Bruce is in, by a hair. You're hanging in there by a thread, Brucey boy. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can yeah, be ours! Right? Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! We are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. What? No. You are providing our escape. Yeah. Waller. On the move with targets. Track the signal. Get your people here now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wade! Do it! What was that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried! All comms are down. Move! 
carry the torch, Mr. Shoot. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! You're outmatched. Nobody has to die here. Your place is on the perimeter. The yeah, key. yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. And I'll no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off, or I'll shoot. No, no, no! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on you. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Waller, where are you? Waller here. Let them have it, Wayne. What are you talking about? The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's lives. You were supposed to be here. No! That was my ride! Break out the artillery and disable their vehicles! Damn it! We can fix this all later. For now, just move it. Waller out. I don't wanna hurt ya. But I will blow your heads off if you make me eat concrete. Lights out. Put out that fire. On it. I'm gonna play whack a mole with their heads. Back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, he'll make us all pay for abandoning him. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slip. 
We did what we had to do. We retrieved the package, and Harley drove off to make sure we kept it. You tell him. You're all welcome. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. <laughs> Intrigued, Brucie? Wanna know what's inside? Go on. Open it. He stink when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. For the right price. Yeah.